All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television show in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Now, today I'm going to be showing you my entire collection of John Saul paperback novels. There's 30 of them, which is, I think, most of what he's written. Um... You know, in my library, I've got about 5,000 some odd books in my library here. It's a big library. Big, 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 big. Um, most of these books I have read, not only have I read most of the 5,000 in the library, but a lot of them I've read two or three times. Some of them, like my favorites, 10 times each. These John Saul books, I will admit, I've only read three of them. But I have all of them. And the three that I've read, I've liked so far. That's why I've kind of collected the rest. Um, so let's just go through them. If uh, So I know nothing about any of these books except for the three that I've read. So if, you, uh, if there's any particular ones that you've read that are your favorites, please drop a line down in the comments. I am, re I am reading all the John Saul books in order of publication. So the first three books that he wrote, I have read and left a review, a detailed review of, on my channel. So I've read the first book he wrote, which was uh, Suffer the Children. I've read um, Punish the Sinner, which I liked. I liked all of them. And I read Cry for the Strangers. All three good books. And if you want to see my review of any of these three books, all you need to do is type in the title of the book, my last name, type those two things into your YouTube search bar, and the book review that I created will magically appear upon your television screen, computer screen, or maybe even your phone, if you're using your phone. So, those are the three that I've read. And now I'm going to introduce these books to you, and these are also in order of publication. So we're going to go from his earlier books in the 70s all the way up to his more modern horror novels. Um, oh, by the way, I probably should have mentioned, he, he does write horror novels. He's a horror novelist. So I, there's Comes the Blind Fury. We'll eventually read that one. When the Wind Blows. What I love about these early 70s books is just the goofiness of the covers. Just how simplistically silly and nonsensical they are. And how the illustrations are just wacky. I, I actually, I don't know why I like that about them, but I do. I dig it. I dig old book covers. We've got The God Project. That should be interesting when we get to it. We have um, Nathaniel. Interesting to find out who Nathaniel is. Probably not a good person, considering it's a horror novel. The Brainchild. Again, with another hella weird early 1980s horror novel cover thingy. That is bizarro. Hellfire. Hellfire. That looks like it came straight out of the early 1980s. Can't wait to read that one. The Unwanted. Again, another simplistic horror novel feel. And then we have, not only did we just get The Unwanted, but we have The Unloved. And The Unloved is a lady with a skeleton face and a lingerie. And then we have Creature. <laughs> I like that, Creature. That's a guy in a football helmet with demon eyes. That's right up my alley. That's got to be right up my alley. And then we have the uh, second child with another goofy mid-1980s cover. And then we got the uh, sleepwalk. Darkness. I mean, shadows. I mean, they haven't really thought I mean, there's nothing unique about the titles. They're not really thought through. I mean, they're not. I mean, they're not poetic or anything. It's just, I mean, what have we got? Uh, sleepwalk, darkness, darkness, guardian, 
the homing. Well, that, I don't know what the hell a homing would be. Black Lightning. Now we're getting into some of the mid, like the late 80s, early 90s sort of Photoshop looking covers. Which I think are a little bit weak. The Presence. That's all right. I like the colors on that. The right, the, 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 what is this called? The, uh, the right hand of evil. Night shade. The Manhattan Hunt Club. I have a little bit of a different title for that one, for sure. We, at least we know that it's probably going to take place in Manhattan. Midnight Voices. Black Creek Crossing. Perfect Nightmare. Again, I, I like the old 80s, even though they're just not that great. The old 80s covers, the 70s covers, just, these are a little dull. Dark of the Night. Faces of Fear. The Devil's Labyrinth. I guess the Devil's Labyrinth is an English school for boys. I don't know. And then House of Reckoning, which looks like another English school for boys. Anyway, that's my um, John Saul book collection right there. So, uh, you know, let me know what you think.